The bad economy has many homeowners fixing up their homes by themselves, sometimes with disastrous results. Consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here with more. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Harry. The home improvement shows and the magazines make some of those projects look really easy, right? Well, it could end up costing you a lot more than just money. Matt Taylor of Danville, Illinois, was using a nail gun to put up a ceiling in his basement. Every time this depresses, it fires. And ended up in the emergency room. The nail just went all the way in my hand and they had to pull it out with pliers. Careful. And New York City roofer Mike Saperstein has seen plenty of do-it-yourself disasters. Well, the nail through the foot's one. I saw a guy um, with a bandage on his thumb. He, he smashed his thumb with a hammer. I saw someone put his foot through a roof. In Charlotte, North Carolina, Richard Benningfield was on a ladder in his yard sawing a tree branch. And a neighbor was driving by and found me laying in the yard. I was in a coma for three weeks. A tree specialist ended up doing the work. Probably the most common mishap that we see where someone uses a ladder to try and cut off a limb, and the thing they forget, that limb's not gonna fall straight down. Emergency rooms across the country are now seeing an array of do-it-yourself injuries. They happen more often than we think, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Angie Hicks founded Angie'sList.com, which helps homeowners find reliable contractors. A recent survey of the site's members found 83% take on DIY projects to save money. But one in five of them have had to call in a pro to finish the job. If you're thinking about doing a project yourself, first assess your skill. Be honest. And then do you have the right equipment and do you know how to use it? And if you don't know how to use it, it can be quite dangerous. Right here. And if Richard Benningfield had to do it over again, he says he would have called an expert in the first place. Hindsight's better than foresight. Even though you, I think I know it all, uh, I really don't. And in fact, falling off a ladder is the most common type of do-it-yourself injury. More than 136,000 Americans receiving emergency room treatment a year. The thing is, you think you're going to take on a project like this, and your primary motivation oftentimes is saving money. Right. In the final analysis, do you save money? If you know what you're doing, maybe. <laughs> but a lot of people don't, and a lot of people in the end have to call in an expert. So you've then spent money on the expert, and you've spent money on all the stuff that you did in the first place trying to fix or improve your house. And that does not add up. No. All right, Susan Copen, as always, thank you so much.